Top 9 Ongoing Mega Projects in Uganda, 2023 In this video, we are going to count down the 10 amazing mega projects in Uganda. If you are ready then let's begin. Number 9 The Aga Khan University Hospital the Aga Khan University Hospital in Kampala, Uganda is a 600-bed facility providing advanced specialist treatment and care. It is anticipated that the Jinja Road and New Port Bell Road facilities in Kampala will give Ugandans an unmatched opportunity to access top-notch medical and nursing services, reducing the need to travel abroad for treatment. As fewer people will need to travel abroad for medical care, this will benefit the nation economically and socially. Number 8. Construction of 223 km roads linking Uganda to DRC. The project was launched in 2021 by President Yoweri Museveni and Felix Chisikedi, marking the start of construction of 223 km roads linking Uganda to DRC. The groundbreaking ceremony was held at Mhandwi slash Kasindi border post. The governments of both countries have signed two agreements, the Intergovernmental Agreement and Project Development Agreement, to facilitate the implementation of a $334.5 million project. The project includes the construction and slash or rehabilitation of Mpandwi slash Kasindi Bini Road, Bonagana Rutshuru Goma Road, and the Beni Utembo Axis. The financing is being distributed in a public-private partnership, with DOT Services Lod paying 60%, the Ugandan government 20%, and the Congolese government 20%. This project will double trade in Uganda, which makes $532 million a year from trading with the DRC and improve interconnectivity and security in the DRC, particularly in the eastern region where rebel groups operate. Number 7. Kampala Jinja Expressway The Kampala Jinja Expressway is a proposed four-lane toll highway in Uganda, connecting Kampala, the capital and largest city of Uganda, with Jinja, the eastern region of Uganda. The initial project preparation started in 2010, but it ran into problems for unidentified reasons. The 95-kilometer project consists of 77 kilometers of the Kampala Jinja Mainline Expressway which has 4 plus 4 lanes for the first 32 kilometers and 2 plus 2 lanes for the remaining 42 kilometers. The expressway's design speed is up to 120 kilometers per hour, an 18 kilometer, 2 plus 2, urban expressway with a design speed of up to 100 kilometers per hour. The Kampala Southern Bypass will connect in Manyonyo after beginning at Butabitha and connecting with the new Kampala Jinja Mainline Expressway. The Uganda National Roads Authority estimates that 1,500 jobs will be created during the construction phase and 250 permanent jobs will be required when the expressway becomes operational. Number 6. NSSF Pension Towers Kampala NSSF Pension Towers Kampala is an office complex owned by the National Social Security Fund in Kampala, Uganda, under construction since 2008. The project consists of three interconnected towers, a central 32-story tower and 10-story towers on either side. The office space in all three towers will be 810,000 after, with a parking space for over 500 vehicles. The Pension Tower will be the second tallest building in Kampala after the 34-floor Kampala Intercontinental Hotel, which is also under construction in Nakasero Hill. Number 5. Busa Gumpeji Expressway The Busa Gumpeji Expressway is a four-lane dual carriageway connecting Kampala to Mpigi, the capital of Mpigi District. The Northern Corridor, a transportation system connecting Uganda, Kenya, Burundi, Rwanda, and Sudan, includes the Busa Gumpeji Expressway. To enable interconnection at locations like Maya, Nsanji, Nabingo, and Lugala in the Wakisa District, it is planned to have four lanes, dual carriageway, and four major interchanges. Construction began in May 2020 and completion is expected sometime in 2023. Number 4. UPDF National Referral Hospital The UPDF National Referral Hospital project in Lower Mbuya, Uganda is a state-of-the-art 250-bed diagnostic and treatment facility with all hospital departments and a medical school. 
The money for the project is a portion of what Uganda has been reimbursed by the UN for using its military hardware and vehicles in Somalia. Chief of Defense Forces General David Muhuzi said the ultra-modern project is part of efforts to decongest government hospitals like Bombo, where most soldiers from central Uganda receive health care. The state-of-the-art hospital will treat Ugandan soldiers injured on foreign missions and civilians in need of medical care. Currently, soldiers injured in Somalia are treated at the Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi, Kenya. The project is being implemented by the UPDF Engineering Brigade. Number 3. Kira Matuga Road. The project involves upgrading the Kira Kasangati Matuga Road, Najera Buat Spur, Family Access Road, and 2 km road section from Kialawajala to Kira, from 2 lanes to 4 lanes with a median and provision of walkways and cycle lanes. The project involves improving and upgrading 5 junctions along Kampalagayaza Road, including the Katetika, Imperua Ariza, and Gayaza junctions. Chongqing International Construction Corporation is the main contractor, while Professional Engineering Consultants Lid and CAT Consult Lead are the project consultants. The road will facilitate connections to major thoroughfares like the Bombo and Jinja highways and improve traffic flow in Kampala and Wakiso. Number 2. Naman-based Industrial Park Project The Naman project is funded by the government of Uganda to contribute to Uganda's development through industrialization and job creation. The primary infrastructure that needs to be built includes tarmac roads, bridges, traffic management systems, solar lighting, water distribution networks, waste treatment networks, power supply networks, fiber optic networks, closed circuit television networks, workspaces for small and medium-sized businesses, and firefighting systems. Investors in the industrial park have found it difficult to set up shop due to the complex terrain and inadequate infrastructure. The government entered into a memorandum of understanding with Lavin Group Lid to develop infrastructure in the industrial park to address infrastructure challenge. The project is estimated to create 25,484 direct jobs in the construction phase, 39,800 in the short term, and over 200,000 jobs once the industrial park is fully operational. It is planned to take three and a half years, with a warranty period of 12 months for the contractor and 24 months for the owner's engineer. Number 1. Telanga Development Project Together with CNOOC and UNOC, Total 56.6% manages the Telenga Development Project. Six fields will be developed, and 400 wells will be drilled across 31 sites. Production will be transported to a Cassini treatment facility via underground pipelines. The gas will be used to create the energy required for the treatment process, and all of the produced water will be re-injected into the fields. Extra electricity will be exported to the Ugandan grid and pipeline. The fields developed are located inside Murchison Falls Park and outside of the park in rural areas with agricultural activities. The project calls for the construction of a crude processing facility CPF, with a daily processing capacity of 190,000 barrels of oil and 700,000 barrels of total liquid, the drilling of 426 wells, 160 kilometers of flow lines to transport water and crude oil from the wells to the CPF, and a 95 kilometers 24-inch feeder pipeline to move processed crude oil from the CPF in Buliza to the export hub and refinery in Cabal in the Hoima district. The Victoria Nile Crossing, Operation Support Base Camps, and a lake water abstraction station are important infrastructure. And this concludes our coverage of the top 9 ongoing mega projects in Uganda. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also share it with your friends.